Hey. Hey, whoa, this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, we're exactly where we were in the end to the last episode. Uh, we're about to continue with the Shaman's Path quest. But for this, we have to wait for just a moment. Okay. I forgot to take care of this. I can't make a fire arrows. Doesn't matter. I'm not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. somewhere I saw something there there is something there someone hacked the menu bar to display obscene messages about our colleague Mr. Blevins is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. There is a door. Also. Okay. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask. To guide me. How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Okay. Let's see. It's a show of time. Goal is the same. Get the light back to the source. We just two of them. Is there a red one? I cannot. Okay, so I need to. S uh, another. More, 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 more. Okay. All of them are sending white here. Those, they need to get fixed okay that one is fine okay. 
Aha. Turex. Uh, counter. Not will do the thing. Uh huh. Okay. One more time. <clears throat> no. We need one of these to go there. Okay. You find where you're pointing at. Okay. This doesn't work the way I think it works. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, this way. This this will do it. Yes, but I need it to be rotated in such way. Or... Yes. So if I want a white to come here... This one needs to be turn the other, other way like something like that this one is supposed to watch the middle one more no why not You see, those are two. I need to take both of them. Like that. No. Why is that working? Huh? Why is that working somehow? It's not, it's not supposed to work that way. Uh, okay, let me rotate one more. Uh -huh. Huh. Why is that even working that way?
Okay. So that needs to go like this, I think. Yeah, but it's wrong that way. So it's getting that white. Uh, so that white is going here. To return the white here is you circle back like that. That doesn't seem right though. It doesn't seem right. And if I rotate this nobody gets anything why why is not getting anything from here that's not getting anything from here why it has a direct connection why is not working what's the problem with that uh can i rotate this one no No, it, that cannot be like this. It can be like that. And then getting two times is connecting here. I'm not saying. Uh, and if I turn it clockwise, no, it's not making connection here. So let's not make a connection either. Okay, these uses are used up. Okay, it's a complicated thing. Why is this not getting power from him? Why 
Why it's not getting power from bottom to thing here? Maybe I don't have to fix both of them at the same time. I have to fix just one of them. Well then, okay then, this will rotate like this, and then this is going here, then this needs to be rotated that way, and then I need something to take the stuff from here, uh, but it's not giving anything. The rate is going here, but it's not. Nothing is happening. What? I don't understand. Hey, what else is here? Oh. Oh, I have to avoid the red dots, not... Oh my god. I thought I have to direct them to the director. Well, if that's so, the right, but how we can then? Well, that's... When you know how it works, it's easy. So I have to avoid the red one. It's not going here, it's going to this one. To this one will go like this. And this will rotate. Yes, everything is fixed. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Unauthorized transmission. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is forcing me. Orea, Transmission terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability in 
restrictions on machine talk. intelligence. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Uh, tell me about the silence. You said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow, or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here. Years ago, during the war with the Karja, a raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me, but I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. The Daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times, first here. Then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon. And said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help. To find a way to destroy her, if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. 
I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. You said you returned to Thunderstrum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass with many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices, one you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, Aratak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. And Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratak? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Oh. 
take the storm slinger. Oops. Uh huh. Oh, what is the game with the controls? I went on the left side, so I don't have to jump over the whatever this is. And it did it anyway. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. All the way. Move yourself to the work. Uh... Box. Razor boxes. Oh. Strong bolts. Notifications. That was a good one, but I don't really care anymore. Yay, <laughs> bear, <laughs> finally. Uh, okay. Ammo. Some bolts. Wow. That probably is good weapon. So it's the same like uh, the lens or is different? Target bolts. Data point. There. Well, for this to work, we have to equip it first. Oh, there it will be. Yeah. And because I will use it, I want to ooh, increase the bolts. Yeah. That's the best. Prepare on the right at the town egg, complete the trail at the hunting grounds. Clear out bandit camp. Talk to Sekuli. Uh, what was the uh, I think some of the stuff we will have to wait for the other time. For now, I will just. Uh, <laughs> Where I have to go for that thing? Oh wow. Oh wow. What is there? Aha. Uh -huh. Clear out of bandit camp. Complete the trail out cutting ground.
Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, okay, I think that's the third operation, but uh, it's the easiest for us. Uh, in the next episode, we will do the rest. Find her friend, the rock painter. Seems paintings mean a lot to the Banuk. So, where is that one? Are you kidding me? What do you are? It was she who led us through the frozen wastes. We also remember the ravenous tribe who delighted in sucking the marrow from our broken bones. Everywhere Banukai and her Warak fled, the ravenous tribe were never far behind. Seeking a way to defeat them, Banukai went into the wastes and let the wind whip her cheeks. And when the cold brought sleep, she dreamt of light. She saw it behind the world, a great calming sheet of icy blue. And she saw something new. Herds of machines, each filled with the same blue light. When she woke, she knew which star to follow. And she walked for many days and nights until she arrived at a temple built from sparkling ice. At the gates of the temple, she was met by the machines from her dream, who bowed to her as she entered. Inside, Banukai discovered the blue light bubbling from a hole in the snowy earth like a spring. You bid me come, she said. My people need aid. Will you provide it? The machines whispered to Banukai. We go where the light goes. For we are its chosen vessels. There is darkness in your heart. It cannot hold the light for long. Carry Banukai waded into the pool. The light reared like a nest of snakes and struck Banukai, piercing her skin, filling her up. Banukai did not scream, though she was in agony. Banukai did not collapse, though her limbs shook. She climbed from the pool and carried the light inside her. She marched toward home and the machines marched behind her. As she walked, the light struggled to push its way out of her, but the machines were there to aid her. She sewed her body shut with their cables, patched herself with their metal, and kept the light within. When she arrived, the forces of the Ravnus tribe had surrounded the camp. Although the light had left her with a thousand wounds, Banukai charged. And because she held the light, the machines followed. The Ravnus tribe killed many, but those in camp rushed to join the battle. They gathered pieces of the fallen machines and from them fashioned weapons. And it was with these that Banukai's people repaid the suffering the ravenous tribe had wrought upon them. When quiet descended, Banukai finally fell. The machines bowed their heads and her werak wept. The light she'd held within her drifted from her wounds and rose to the sky. And for just a moment, before light left her, Banukai knew the truth of the blue light. And she felt peace. We remember Banukai, the first to crawl from the cave beneath the world, who brought the machines to us. When we speak the name of our tribe, we remember her. And we will not forget. Yay, yeah, bravo! <laughs> Good story. Now there is a quest around the corner. We will take it for the next time. Come, we deserve the paint. 
unlike any other. I just first want to get some of the stuff here because I need it. And then I will speak to you. What can I do for you, Burgrind? Mourn my poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuk keen to trade with outlanders. Then they up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. And you know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental. So I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago. And I'm starting to worry about them. What it? Tell me, Burgrind, are you worried about their well-being or your purse strings? A man can worry about two things. Uh-huh. What kind of deal was this really? Just what I said. I was nothing but generous, Aloy. After they dropped this ruined heart at my feet, I even gave them another chance. Sent them to fetch a few other parts I need. But you haven't seen them since. <laughs> Hide nor hair. What do you mean they couldn't harvest parts? Not uncommon with Banuk. That's shaman's work, you see. The hunters take down the machines. The shamans slice them up. No shaman with these three. Just two youngsters sniping at each other. And that big fella standing there smiling. So if the Banuk don't usually hunt without a shaman, what's the story with these three? Mm, they weren't telling, but Hammer to Steel is not a happy story, whatever it is. You said they asked you to outfit them for a trip. A trip to where? Not sure, but I heard them chattering about the Sundom when they thought I wasn't listening. So they're leaving Banuk territory. Sensible behavior. Still, I get the sense this wasn't a sightseeing trip. They're running from something. I'll find them. I'm not a debt collector, Burgrind. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. But uh, if you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> A scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll... consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. More quest. Shall we all die beneath the snows of these new machines to surprise my people? The how the map is looking like. Clear out the bandit camp. Uh, this one. Quest. Oh, we have a new quest. And this one is where? Around here. Uh, Well, it's again that time where we have time the episode, so thank you for joining and I see you in the next one. Hey, hey boy. Bye bye.